sveiki, this is Easy Lithuanian video series, uh, a simple way to learn Lithuanian grammar. And today, uh, finally, the time has come to learn genitive case, uh, and it's part three. This video is about plural, and it's a very important ending. Don't turn this, don't don't turn off this video, because actually this these noun endings are the easiest of all Lithuanian um, declension system. I always in my video say that um, if it's plural genitive, it will be, the ending will be unosinia, unosinia, this letter. <clears throat> and this is true. And uh, in all Lithuanian nouns, uh, noun declension types and so on, singular and plural has several endings each. But in plural genitive, it, there's this one little exception, that in plural genitive there is only one ending, which is u nosine, u. But, uh, uh, so if you just want to make plural genitive, just as a beginner, or you just don't care about grammar, you just uh, take off the old ending and add u, and that will be okay, you will be understood. But now let's go further and see and see some little aspects which are um, which are f good to know uh, if you want to learn grammar fully and you want to understand uh, the whole system. So, as you know, in Lithuanian nouns and uh, overall in Lithuanian language, there are uh, softening signs which are marked as the letter I. And um, this softening sign says that the ending is soft. It is pronounced U, and the consonant before it will be soft. And if the consonant before an ending, a soft ending, should be, had to be T or D, it will turn to CH and J. So we would get CHU and JU. So you know that there are softening signs in Lithuanian and soft endings. But, um, so plural genitives can be either hard or soft. It can be a hard ending U or a soft ending U. <clears throat> but how do you know which ending um, to put? Well, it's uh, it's a bit easy. At first, it's easy. If the plural nominative, we have plural nominative endings here. If the plural nominative is hard, it doesn't have a softening sign, then the plural, plural genitive will also be hard. So if the endings are os, i, us, enis in plural nominative, then the plural genitive will be u. Just no softening signs are additionally added, and that's logical. If the plural nominative has a soft ending, for example, es, os, and a, in plural, plural genitive it will be u, u. So that's also easy to understand. If the ending is soft, then of course, pl plural. if plural nominative is soft, then plural genitive will also be soft. That's good. But when plural genitive is ease, when the ending is ease, uh, there's a little trick here. If the ending is ease, uh, then it can be either hard or either soft. Uh, you have to know. And mostly, 99% of the time, the endings will be soft. So if the plural nominative is is, most probably, well, most probably the ending will be soft, u. But uh, there are about 13 nouns which have hard endings in plural genitive. So even if plural nominative endings uh, are is, and most is nouns have the soft u, but some nouns, some th 13 nouns, which are a bit old and a bit special, remain and have uh, their hard ending in plural genitive. So, uh, there are some 13 nouns, and five of them are very useful for beginners, so, <clears throat> so you have to learn them. I will show them in the next slide. And before that, 
uh, I just remind you that if there if there is a soft ending like u, and mm, there should be a consonant t or d before soft ending, t and d will turn to j and j. So uh, if the ending was ts, uh, the plural if the nominative plural is ts, then the nominative genitive I'm sorry the plural genitive will be chu. If nominative is des, then genitive is ju. So des, des turns to uh, chu and ju, as well as tis, these to chu and ju. So just know that these sound alternations occur. And now let's see those, uh, those few uh, special nouns which have hard endings in plural genitive. So remember those endings, but uh, these are about those 13 nouns, which are a bit special and are hard in plural genitive. But uh, you have to learn perhaps just uh, only learn only five of them, as I've said. These are, uh, these are that are put in bold. These are the most important ones, five or six. And if you learn those, uh, you can be sure about the others and just put all the, the others, all the remaining others in the soft ending U. So now let's see all those uh, and all those nouns, all those old special nouns which have hard endings in plural genitive. So grindis, grindu, floor. Obelis, obelu, apple trees. Shunis, shunu, dogs. Shlonis, shlonu, thighs. Shaknis, shaknu, roots. Moteris, moteru, women. Osis, osu, ears. Dabesis, debesu, clouds. Jasis, jasu, geese. Pushis, pushu, pines. Dantis, dantu, teeth. Naktis, naktu, nights. Pajastis, pajastu, armpits. Juvis, juvu, fish. So you see, <clears throat> these nouns in plural genitive have soft u, because most East nouns have the soft ending u, but only these 13 nouns have a hard ending. And five of them are frequently used, so you can, uh, you can learn those five and six words. Shunis shunu, moteris moteru, ausis ausu, debesis debesu, dentis dantu, naktis naktu, juvis juvu. These are important ones. And mm, now, uh, as I've mentioned, all the remaining words will have, all the remaining is nouns will have the soft u ending. So, for example, if there was a t, if the plural nominative is tis, like valtis, boats, then the plural genitive will be valchu, chu, because t turns to ch and d turns to j before soft endings. So, uh, just some examples: valchu, stochu, vilchu, kluchu, uh, luchu, minchu, mirchu. So, uh, boats, stations, hopes, uh, obstacles. This word is not necessary. Luchu, downpours, thoughts, and deaths. So those endings were tis, valtis, totis, viltis, glutis, and so on, and they turn to valchu, stochu, vilchu, glutchu, and so on. Now vagis turns to vagu, akis, aku, shirdis, shirdju, nosis, nosu, avis, avu, žveris, žveru, vinis, vinu. So you notice that those endings are soft. Uh, Valchu, vagu, shveru, these are not u, but u. So, as I've mentioned, some 13 nouns remain hard, even though they, in plural nominative, they end in is. So, some common ones, but all the remaining ones will have soft u endings together with sound alternations. But, if you're not sure about that, you can go to lt.wiktionary.org, type a noun, in the search box and you will see the gender um, the gender of the noun so it's uh, feminine or masculine and uh, this time I looked at the uh, the noun motoris which means woman 
and of course it's feminine, so motge or motirishkoi gimine means feminine gender. So it's a feminine noun and it is declined. So uh, you can just um, uh, see this table. You can just expand this table by clicking on this uh, little uh, little text. Uh, Wiktionary will show you this declension table. And uh, genitive, genitive's abbreviation is skill because skill meninkas means genitive. So the second, the second row is genitive. So you see, plural is the sec uh, the third column. Daugiskita, uh, plural. So if you need to know plural genitive, you just go to Daugiskita, kilm, and you see that plural gen uh, plural genitive is moteru, moteru. It's also stressed. So moteru. You see that the ending is hard, and you check yourself. So if you're not very sure, you can just go to a wiktionary, but as I've said, uh, only those 13 nouns, uh, five of them, five of which are frequent, only those nouns are hard in plural genitive. Now some examples, uh, just some sentence examples, and uh, I'll repeat them twice. So, I turned to U. Namai, kada išėjai iš namų? Kada išėjai iš namų? Vaikai, kiek turite vaikų? Kiek turite vaikų? Saldus sapnai. Saldžių sapnų. Saldžių sapnų. So you see, some simple sentences. When did you leave home? How many children do you have? And sweet dreams, which means good night. So saldžių sapnų, when you uh, wish something to others, you put the words in genitive case. And you see that the sound alternation happened here. If and if the has to be before a soft ending, which is u, then it turns to j. So saljū sapnu, saljū sapnu. And uh, this is an ad adjective, but the sound alternation still happens because it's a soft ending and it's d. So um, some examples here. Now some examples with soft endings. You see, previously uh, we had I turns to U. No softening signs. Um, no softening signs. But when we have A, uh, a soft plural nominative ending, it turns to U. So if it's soft, then it will all, uh, when, then the plural genitive will also be soft. So A turns to U. U. Kambare rooms how many rooms are in this house? Kiek kambarių yra šitame name? Kiek kambarių yra šitame name? Kūriniai creations or novels or pieces of art. I don't know these pieces of art. Nežinau šitų kūrinių. Nežinau šitų kūrinių. Cups. Don't you have two cups? Puodeliai. Ar neturite dviejų puodelių? Ar neturite dviejų puodelių? So you see, the plural nominative was soft. Kambarei, kūriniai, puodeliai, with a softening sign and the soft uh, consonant. Uh, in plural genitive, they are also soft. U, u, u. Kambariu, kūriniu, puodelių. And again, once again, just pay attention to the sound alternations. If we have the words brushes, for example, kšepetis, uh, singular nominative, then plural nominative, and then plural genitive. Shepetis turns to shepeche, and then shepeche turns to shepechu. Gaidis, gaije, gaiju. So you see that sound alternation already happened before, uh, before genitive. When we turned the singular noun into plural, shepetis to shepeche, then the sound alternation happened. And uh, we have plural nominative, shepeche, with uh, sound alternation already. So ch is already there. We just have to replace a with u. Shepeche, shepechu. So you see, if the soft uh, ending, the soft, uh, the soft uh, ending, and the sound alternation has already happened, it remains. It remains. You just have to change the ending, mm, and uh, you see that the sound alternation happened even before we put the word in plural genitive. Now, once again, uh, another ending. If the ending is is, then it turns to u most of the time, except those 13 nouns that we looked at. 
So the same alternation once again, Valtis boat and Valtis boats. No sound alternation happens here, but now, and uh, now, uh, when we form plural genitive, then the sound alternation happens. Man reikia poros valčių. Man reikia poros valčių. Now, uh, since the ending is u, soft ending, that must turn to ch. Sound alternation must happen. So, this is with sound alternation. Man reikia poros valčių. Uh, now, with the other word, with d, we see, um, we see that the sound alternation has already happened in plural. It, it didn't happen in plural genitive because it already happened in plural nominative. Madis magi. Koks šitų medžių pavadinimas. Koks šitų medžių pavadinimas. So you see that uh, a sound alternation has already happened in plural nominative. Oh, and I see that magi, this is a, not is. So sorry about this, but. Uh, this is one more example. You see that is normally turns to the soft ending except those 13 nouns. Except those 13 nouns. So sound alternation also happens. <clears throat> now, once more, if the ending is is, it's either soft like this, either soft or hard. So hard only in those 13 nouns. And remember, just uh, one more time, remember the hard plural genitives like moteris. Aš nemačiau tu moteru. Aš nemačiau tu moteru. I didn't see those women. So, uh, just remember that some words, some 13 nouns form hard endings, hard plural genitives, as well as žuvis. Ar ežere yra žuvų? Ar ežere yra žuvų? Is there any fish in the lake? Once again, one more soft, I'm sorry, one more hard ending. One more hard ending. So, moteri smoteru, žuvis žuvu, pušis pušu. And uh, those 13 nouns have hard endings in plural genitive. Now, other examples with es. Es turns to u, soft endings. Katės, cats. Uh, here's a photo of my cats. Čia mano kačių nuotrauka. Čia mano kačių nuotrauka. See, sound alternation happens. Katės, this ending was hard, katės, then the ending turns to soft, u, and sound alter alternation must happen, so katės turns to kačiu. Gatvės, streets, I don't remember street names. Neprisimeno gatvių pavadinimu. Neprisimeno gatvių pavadinimu. See, no sound alternation because there's no t or d. So, gatvės, gatvių. Again, s turns to u, just a simple example. Uh, Another example, kavinės, uh, cafes. How many cafes are here? Kiek čia yra kavinių? Kiek čia yra kavinių? So you see, s just simply turns to u. If there is t or d, it has sound alternations. Os turns to u. Kalbos, languages. How many languages do you know? Kiek kalbų moki? Kiek kalbų moki? Knigos, books. What's these books' price? Or what's the price of these books? Kokia šitų knygų kaina? Kokia šitų knygų kaina? Once again, uh, os turns to u. Then it turns to u, but only two words. And sound alternation has already happened in plural nominative. Marti, marčios, marčiu. Pati, pačios, pačiu. So um, these words are not useful for beginners. So, But uh, just keep in mind that... Uh, some adjectives have also the uh, also have the I ending. For example, graže, beautiful, graže uh, is beautiful woman. If we said plural, plural genitive, it will also be gražu moteru. So the endings for adjectives for plural genitives are also the same. Then u turns to u sunus sons. Don't you know my sons? Ne pažistat mano sunu. Ne pažistat mano sunu. Now, anis turns to anu, akmenis stones, I'm sitting on stones, sejo ant akmenu, sejo ant akmenu. Uh, and another, uh, and, and a short little exception, shua, shua dog, shunis, dogs in plural, uh, they don't have n, but uh, this word doesn't have n, but it has un. So, shunis, 
and uh, the plur plural genitive will be shunu. Nemexto shunu. Nemexto shunu. So it's just a little exception. In all cases, this word uh, has not n but un. So that was it for this lesson. I hope it was helpful. Remember that if uh, if you have a plural noun if, and if you want to form a plural genitive, just um, take out the existing ending and add u um, at the ending, and that's it. And if the plural nominative is soft, uh, the u will be soft as well, so the ending will be u. And if the plural nominative is ends in is, 13 nouns will have hard ending, u, like moteris, moteru, but all the remaining ones, like stotis, stations, will have u, stochu. Plus, they will have some sound alternations if uh, t and d is before the ending. So, um, thanks for listening. And you can also get some ebooks and audiobooks, uh, in especially the ebook Basic Lithuanian Phrases with Audio. It's absolutely free to download. You can check it out. The link will be in video description. Uh, you can also check uh, Twitter for newest videos. Uh, but um, I took a Judith. Thanks for watching and Ike. Bye.